Hey everyone, today we're fixing a super annoying problem, laptop keyboard keys not working. I'm actually experiencing this right now. When I press my keys, nothing happens. Don't worry though, I'll show you how to fix it. The last method usually works best, so make sure you stick around till the end. Let's fix this together. First, let's start by updating the keyboard drivers. Right click on the start button and select device manager. Find keyboards in the list and click the arrow to expand it. You'll see two options, HID keyboard device and standard PS2 keyboard. Let's update the HID keyboard device first. Right click on HID keyboard device and select update driver. Choose search automatically for updated driver software. Follow the on-screen instructions if an update is found. If there is no update, don't worry. I will show you another method soon. Now let's do the same for the standard PS2 keyboard. Right click on standard PS2 keyboard and select update driver. Again, choose search automatically for updated driver software. Install any updates if found. After updating both, restart your computer to apply the changes. Now try using your keyboard after the restart. If this method doesn't work, follow this next method, which usually does the trick. First, we need the on-screen keyboard to type. So, right-click the Start button and select Settings. Click on Accessibility. Scroll down to find Keyboard under the Interaction section and click on it. Toggle on the on-screen keyboard option. A virtual keyboard will appear on your screen. You can use this to type. Now, here's what to do next. In the search bar, use your on-screen keyboard to type Run and open it. In the run window, type R-E-G-E-D-I-T and click OK. In the registry, editor, first expand H key local machine. Then expand the system folder. Next expand current control set. Now expand services. Here find I8042PRT and click on it. On the right side, find Start. Right-click on Start and select Modify. Here is the main part. Change the value data to 1 and click OK. Finally, after making these changes, close all open windows and restart your computer one more time. Test your keyboard to see if the problem is resolved. As you can see, my keyboard's working properly now, so your keyboard should be working properly too. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials.